Parts of Speech for Kids. What is an adverb? By Teaching Without Frills. Parts of speech are different types of words we use when we speak and write. There are eight main parts of speech. Nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. So, what's an adverb? An adverb is a word that describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Adverbs often help answer the questions how, when, where, and to what extent. Let's look at some of the different types of adverbs and learn how we use them. Many adverbs describe verbs by telling how an action happens, like quickly running, peacefully sleeping, or talking loudly. Do you notice something about these three adverbs? Oh yeah, they all end in L-Y. Quick, peaceful, and loud are all adjectives that can describe nouns. But when we want to describe a verb, we often add an L-Y on the end to create an adverb. Can you think of some other adverbs that end in L-Y? Adverbs can also describe when or how often something happens. These are words like now, then, tomorrow, always, never, and sometimes. We can use these words to describe verbs or adjectives like walking now or always happy. Can you think of any other adverbs that describe when or how often something happens? Adverbs can also answer the question where Words such as inside, outside, here, there, up, and down can be used as adverbs to tell where something happens, like look up or come here. Can you think of any other adverbs that can describe where something happens? Finally, we can use adverbs to answer to what extent. These are adverbs like barely, almost, very, and extremely. These adverbs can describe verbs like almost crying, or they can modify adjectives like extremely hot, or they can even describe other adverbs like very quickly. Can you think of some other adverbs that might answer the question to what extent? Now let's see if you can find the adverbs in the following sentence. Yesterday, we very carefully planted pretty flowers outside. Here's a hint. There are four adverbs in this sentence. Pause here to think or keep watching to hear the answer. Yesterday is an adverb that tells when we planted the flowers. Carefully describes how we planted the flowers. Very describes to what extent we were careful. And outside describes where we planted the flowers. The word to start answering the sheet. Which word is an adverb here? Miguel woke up early to do his chores. Woke up early. So, where is the adverb here? Yes, excellent. It will be early. And early can tell? Yes, when? Because it tell you the time. Number two. Dad loosely tied the box with a piece of string. Dad what? Loosely. Okay. So it will, in this was L Y. So this is what this is the adverb here. So easy by the way, as we said that um, most of the adverbs in this was L Y. Not all of them by the way. Juju is outside playing with the dog. Where is the adverb here? Is or outside or playing or dog? Yes, boys, excellent. It will be outside. And it this adverb can tell you where because it's a place. Uh, Brian has been here for three days. Okay, where is the adverb has or been or here? Or three? Yes, it will be here. Okay, why? Because here is um, place, by the way. Number five. Conrad doesn't go to the park very often. Conrad 
doesn't go to the park very often where is the adverb here does or the or park or often yes often it will be often okay number six Shannon carefully yes so easy carefully 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 is adverb and this was ly okay Noel put the ice in the freezer quickly yes quickly in this was ly I said before that 90 or more most of the adverbs in this was ly the baby certainly had fun playing with the ball certainly baby or certainly yes mister Cert certainly okay so here question two circle the adverbs the adverb Jane did her homework happily yes happily okay number two Jack ran quickly to catch the train yes quickly and this was ly quick quickly they carried the box carefully yes carefully is the adverb okay the old man walks slowly slowly is adverb we arrived at home safely okay so this is the adverb he cheered loudly in this with ly i know that most of you will uh, underline the ly word we can build a home there 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 can tell place or where okay so there it's a too hot tonight it's a too hot tonight but it will be what too it's too this is the adverb they then they clean their room then then is adverb okay can tell you the time order we can live nearby nearby is the adverb here now boys let's uh, answer write if the adverb tells how or where or when okay can we go after the movies after 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 is what is adverb here can tell what how or where or when yes mister can tell when can tell what when so we will write it here okay when uh, the snow began to fall quickly yes quickly is the adverb and I said all the adverbs that end with ly till till what till how till what till how so it will be copy here and it will be written number two we went outside we went outside outside is the adverb here so we will underline it and tell you what tell you where because outside tell you place so number four soon we will go on vacation yes soon is adverb and can tell you what the time so it will be soon when the bus speedily drove down the street ly so speedily it will be the adverb and in this with ly so it will be what how copy and put it here paste. the telephone rang loudly loudly in this with ly as we said and all the adverbs that in this with ly okay tell you how a strong wind made my kite fly everywhere everywhere okay is the adverb here and everywhere tells you where okay uh, we the last one here we all live here so here is the adverb and tell you what till you place it will be where okay so boys we finished the grammar uh, today let's go to
mood, mood, mood. Wooden, wooden. Drew, drew. Smooth, smooth. Blue, blue. Balloon, balloon. True, true. Cro crooked, crooked. Chew, chew. Tooth, tooth. Hooves, hooves. Cool, cool. Food, food. Pooch, pooch. Blue, blue. Foot, foot. Loose, loose. Jewel, jewel. Hood, hood. Spoon, spoon. Mood, the way someone feels a person's emotional state. Wooden, made of wood. Drew, past tense of draw to make a picture, image, etc. by making lines on a surf, smooth. Having a flat, even surface, not rough, not having any bumps, red blue. Having the color of a clear sky. Balloon, a thin usually rubber bag that becomes larger when it is filled with air or gas. True, one agreeing with the facts, not false to completely loyal or faithful. True. One agreeing with the fact crooked. One not straight to not set or place straight. Chew. To use your teeth to cut food into small pieces before you swallow it. Tooth. One of the hard white objects inside the mouth that are used for biting and chewing. Hooves. Plural of hoof. The hard covering on the foot of an animal such as a horse or pig. Cool. Somewhat cold, not warm or hot X. She wears her jacket on blank days. Food. The things that people and animals eat. Pooch. A dog. Blue. Past tense of blow. One to cause air or something carried by air to move. Two to create a current of moving air by breathing. Foot. The part of the leg on which an animal. Loose. Not pulled or stretched tight. Jewel. A valuable stone such as a ruby or diamond that has been cut and polished. Hood. Spoon. Listen for the vowel sound in spoon and wood. Choose the word from the box for each sentence. Shook, spoon, blue, smooth. Okay, the France flag is white, red, and huh? Think yes, it'd be blue will be blue okay sand paper is rough but computer paper is what is the opposite of rough yes it will be smooth it will be smooth okay we space the towel to get out the sand yes we shook okay so it will be shook the towel please give a space to everyone at the table please give what give a spoon to everyone at the table okay question two write the vocabulary word that belongs in each group loud is too soft as rough is too rough is to what rough yes rough to smooth okay bad is too good and fast is too slow excellent word rhyme with booth what is the word that rhyme with booth yes it will be tooth rhyme with uh, booth it will be what tooth okay now question number three choose the word that complete the rhyme mingbo 
a diamond maker has a tool to make a very shiny tool to make a very shiny huh? the diamond maker make what yes make a jewel make jewel j e w e l this window has a pretty view on clear days when the sky is blue okay and every friday afternoon i eat rice with spoon okay i don't know if the show wa was good was good so what is the rhyme with good it will be stood okay yes T double O D. So we have here view blue afternoon spoon good and stood. Let's answer the last question here. Write write the word that completes each group. Spoon, wood, drew, talon, chew, tooth, shook. What comes with fork, knife? Fork, knife, hmm, excellent, yes, it will be spoon, so it will be spoon, okay, number two, kite, kite, okay, kite and plane, what, well, what comes with kite and plane, okay, yes, it will be balloon, we will write it here, Okay, number three, paint it. When you paint, after you paint, yes, drew. Okay, so we will put it here. Bite, after you bite, chew. Okay, so it will be chew. And rubber, wood. Okay, so we will put it here. Live and tongue. Lip and tongue, it will be tooth. Okay, so wiggle, it will be shook. Okay, so it will be last here. And now we finished part three. Goodbye. See you in the next video, inshallah.